Uh, I mean, uh, you don't even need that. You have your okay, wife on well, that, okay. that, that tracks. There's a handful of Orions in this world. Mm-hmm. One of them was I that one time. I mean, maybe more we're talking time. about. I remember that. I still remember that one time. This was back in the provincial campaign where we were talking about Orion Akaba from Critical Role, the mm-hmm. druggie. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I, yeah, I don't like Orion's character. And you thought I was talking about oh. And I, <laughs> I, I literally didn't click in my mind for even one fucking second. Because I never call O oh, Orion. Orion. I just say mm-hmm. O. Oh. And I was like, oh, why, why are you getting offended? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Shit, name is Orion. Orion. But not like, like it's Orion. Not no. It's yeah. like, yeah, mm-hmm. Orion. I was like, oh. That... Who, who wants to say a word that's three whole syllables? That's ridiculous. Listen, I said shit. It is. You, 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 put, a, you put a pos- mm-hmm. an apostrophe there. You know that's that's all the breakaway I need mentally. It's all good. I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Realize. Really separates itself. <laughs> Duh. Anyways. Uh, anyway. Uh, uh, God uh, damn it! <laughs> Always on some shit today. These jokes are actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking up names and then coming to the realization that I don't have a name for this person. All right, no, it's not gonna be Frederick Jeffington. All right, no, that's Peter Cap. Molyneux. No, no. It's like a famous barkeep. What is this? Are, are there really famous barkeeps? Thinking about ah, uh, probably people that have been to drugs. Ted Danson. <laughs> Chris Hansen. That would be a different investigation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul Bundy. Probably just... a lot more bloody, too. Oh, no. It's just everyone that works at this bar actually has just serial killer names. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ed Kemper. Brody. Brody. Uh, Brody, you know, is a bartender. He actually, it's... It's Brody and Brady, actually. Um, they're twin halfling brothers that run another bar not too far from here. Well, I mean, no more farther than, like, the Wayfair's Fork, I guess. So you heard his voice. I'm assuming you've been to their establishment, in the, given your, uh, <laughs> your ways. Do I have so their they, bar name? So they own their own bar. But they're working here, right now. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm Wait, up. that changes things. I'm so pretty sure I had their bar name. Oh yeah, that's... yeah, yeah. There it is. I found it. The cool double respite. Oh, oh yeah, no, we've been one. there. We've been there. Yeah, yeah. Then mm-hmm. there's Craggy's place, which I think was the uh, <laughs> the <laughs> the um lair of Marcone, aka Vellum. Yeah, the cool double respite. Yeah, got to dig up all these old, old names from the past campaign. I was like, I gotta get used out of these somewhere. <laughs> I always got this kind of vibe from the writer's crest. Yeah, I can see that. I, I can see that. Just the thumbnail of that looks like a psychopath. Okay, listen. Now you're just being rude. <laughs> Right, just because he's Japanese, it doesn't. Just kidding. I was mostly going yeah, like he's almost at the Cooper oh stare, God. homie. Yeah, dude, he's, he's really happy. I, could, I, could, I could kind of see it, yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, it's definitely an unsettling uh... hand Look. position. That's what mm-hmm. does it for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what the fuck I am. And I deem it unworthy. Yeah. Have a cocktail. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, let's, let's run back. So, yeah, um, Brody and Brady are the two twin brothers that run the Cool Double Respite. Ruhan, you heard, you think Brody, you think Brody's a bit more nasally than Brady. I'm pretty sure that's Brody in there. Wait. Who? Huh? Who? She's the only one that runs the place. So why are they running it? Because she needs someone to run it while she's out doing her work. If we could establish when she's had people running the place... We could establish a timeline for when the people were killed. It's not solid evidence, but it's definitely enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, true. Uh-huh. It'd be something to build on at the very least. With what we already know, it's enough. Yeah. Also, with so what we already to... know, where is she then? 
I don't know, but we should ask. Yeah, we figure out his town? rota or something. Yeah. Nobody can tell us last time he did this for. Hmm. I mean, yeah, maybe talks into. I can I can speak English. It's all good. Jesus. Calm um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Probably talk to the regulars. Good idea. Uh, no one would know the regulars. Let's go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, in we go, I guess. No, but from Sensei, almost oh, like that. Oh, prime killing yep, time. Yep, I think so. I did not say this out loud, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Barry just points out. No particular reason, but who's going in first? It's a double door, so it can ac accommodate having, you know, two people enter at the same time, if so to say. Here, you know what? No, just, just give me a marching order, like right around here or so. Just, just, right, around, just right around here. Just, just give me a marching order. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm going to make sure I am, like, you know, comfortably in the middle, por favor. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah, look how very convenient for that. <laughs> Rose holds the open Abigail the token. Nice. Yeah, I, I, oh, she's yeah. more sad looking now, huh? <laughs> hey, how very so. perfect for her new her new mood. Uh, anyways, Rose would hold open so. the door for everyone else. I oh, well, thank you, Madu. I mean, you're last. Then. I don't say thank you as I go inside. <laughs> to be fair, I don't <laughs> think he knows the etiquette. Swag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Ladies first. <laughs> bitches follow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that that's always gonna be my friend's tip. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, you guys enter into the place, and the place is in a raucous roar for its environment, which is to say, what happens when you get a bunch of introverted, like quiet, writerly, scholarly, artistic sorts in a building and get them drunk? It's a go ham. loud murmur. <laughs> Hey, also it's a, for, it's, for no I particular the best way to describe the the feel of the writer's crest is it's like a like a Greek philosophical debate. You yeah. know, there are people talking about different notions and ideas, and yeah, don't get me wrong, they're still like, oh, what have you been up to this past week? But it doesn't go into the sense of, oh yeah, you know, I freaking had an awesome date. No, it's more over. Well, I thought of this awesome idea for a book I'm writing, like that, like a bit more of a different. Spin on shit, those sort of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like I was actually going on a date, but when I asked her about calligraphy, she stormed out. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a guy next to the door. Yeah, here I'll, 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 I'm, I'm curious. Okay, DC is 26 and below, or 25. <laughs> Damn. Right. Okay. There are, there are three people in here now. I guess. Which you guys can over here try asking Shay out. They failed. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we know Shay's here. <laughs> is Shay here with Peter or is Shay here by herself? No, Shay's not here. They're complaining. Oh. Like they're, oh. They're lamenting their past week's failures at doing so. Rough, man. Sucks for them. None of the bars are here. Okay. There we go. Now the pen's working. She turned me down, man. <laughs> Why are you talking like Shaggy? <laughs> <laughs> His body just starts talking. Oh yeah, as we walk through, like, hey, let's hurry. Oh my god. Hurry and finish this up. I gotta go meet Jay later. <laughs> <laughs> roll me a performance check. <laughs> please, oh, god. please roll me a performance. I have advantage because they're drunk. Hey, you've been hanging out with her a lot lately. Just the other night. Crazy. Oh damn! Oh no! <laughs> God, do you have inspiration? I need this to work. Inspiration what the memes. Me yeah, for the memes. <laughs> yes, come on. Six is a lot better. Let's go. Oh, so <laughs> oh my God. D four was... because Abigail. Oh my God. Yeah, you have a yeah, you have guidance right now. Technically. Oh. I feel. Oh. This to be Ooh, a okay. Twenty. Twenty. Can we have long distance? Just dirty twenty. Oh yeah, Three. dirty twenty. Yeah, yeah. Three collective dirty, envious gazes fall upon Ruhan. <laughs> Silence. 
in contemplative, sorrowful, envious silence. Just give him a shrug of just like, you're not their type, man. Yeah. <laughs> this sucks for you. And Yuruhan truly is a vast difference to them. Not only because he's literally heads taller than them, not only because he's a minotaur, it's literally Chad versus Beta <laughs> fucking meme. <laughs> as you compare Ruhan to those three. They all have neck beards. One is a fedora. Mm -hmm. No, they're just they're just feeble. Understandable, have a nice day. To you, how this ends. This you is ask girls out in suit. <laughs> me, an intellectual, <laughs> ask girls girl out in suit of armor. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so the place is pretty occupied. Uh, if you guys are willing to wait some moments, especially after three people just had their heads enlightened, uh, you guys will probably be able to find a place to steal to sit down in, in due time if you guys just wait a few minutes. Gives us time to take in the environment. Does, yeah. Mm -hmm. can it's literally just like you're fucking... This is something I notice at fucking dining hall for my uni. You'll be a fucking like hawk or a vulture rather looking for a place to steal to sit. <laughs> and you guys are not the only ones. That being said, you guys have... Well, you guys look like you guys, so that I think that answers the question of you will win the fight if you, if you get to the seat. Mm -hmm. Does Ruhan see any like regulars that we could possibly pry for information about timing and things? Well, I'll ask uh, Ruhan. Any of the this boys here? Hmm? Yeah, say any of the boys here though. <laughs> Carl's chilling. Mm -hmm. Regular lads from the docks. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is not a place the dock the dock crew come to. Not at all. Um, but Romy, Romy, idea one hundred. Let's see. Let's see if maybe, maybe, if you get sixty nine, does that also work? Actually, I'll give you. Okay, I'll give you a choice. You can roll charisma to see if you had accum like you as Ruhan had made friends in your times here that you recognize, or you can roll a d one hundred to see if literally just Carl's here. He's gonna go Carl and the boys. Before Carl, but let's let's right. see if anyone else. <laughs> no, uh, that, that's just regular, just a nine. You can throw a yeah. D4 on it. It won't save it. it won't. <laughs> yeah, you usually come here with Carl or, or any of the other boys. You do not see them here uh, as of current, unfortunately. And you guys, you, Carl, and your fellows are a bit of a different cut for this establishment. Don't get me wrong, this establishment has different specialty drinks and stuff like that, which you're sure 100% Billy could make given Billy's angelic newly uncovered angelic capability but nonetheless you know sometimes you just want to go around the place or have a pub crawl and stuff like that and the end destination is the way for his work as a result of you and the boys uh, hitting you know being here together you didn't really do too especially again you guys are a bit of a different crew than the normal audience of this place you guys didn't end up making too many uh, fast dead friends here there are some people you recognize, not to the point where you know their names and such, but you recognize some of their faces and such. Not anyone here, I really. Uh, is it indeed Brody? Uh, you look at the bar, and uh, he has a little, like, name tag bench that he has to stand on to man this this counter because it's built for a different dimension than his own dimensions. Uh, but yeah, it, it is it is indeed Brody. You... Mm -hmm. Hey, Brody, Brody how has you a bit of a different haircut than Brady. A bit longer hair. Continue like a little rat tail. Yeah. Don't, 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 that's so mean! That's so mean! <laughs> Just walk up. Hey, Brody, how you, how you been? You you working over oh, here? Oh, Rohan. How's it going? Um, good, man. Good. How's, how's Brady? Ah, uh, you know. Yeah, complain about yeah. business. <laughs> Honestly, he rolls his eyes. Don't know. 
I mean, I like to think I have a little twig up my bum, but him, he's got the whole stick. I mean, it's your brother, so I didn't want to say anything, but if you mention it first. <laughs> I won't tell him. Don't worry. That sounds profoundly uncomfortable. It's a phrase. <laughs> More so maybe yeah. than him. <laughs> what can I get for you? Um, well, actually, I was... I was looking for Bethany. Is she not around tonight? No, actually. Well, obviously, and he like sort of flicks his like little queening rag like in a circle. Like obviously, like look around. Like whew. obviously. <laughs> no, she asked me to fill up for for the time being, probably for the evening. Yes, and no. How often is that? So right. Ill. Oh. Huh. Right. Yeah. She. That's. I knew she had something going around because you. This isn't the first time you've done this, right? No, no. Things happen, you know, a few times now, a few times. Hmm. Well, not that that's much of a sample size, given that, you know, I've only been here a month or two. Yeah. But, you know, uh, this is this is like the third time, right? Yeah, has she seen anyone about it? Third or fourth? Mm-hmm. Like she's getting sick Roll. pretty... Routinely, I don't know, she might go see a doctor or something, you know? Okay. <laughs> Rolling to see if he... <laughs> yeah, yeah. 15. No question. Uh, like... Three, was it three? Four, maybe. Maybe five? No, 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 no. Well, I mean... Me! Me three, yeah. Me three. She's had Brady a couple times, too. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's, it's... I guess it's nice to pick up the extra work. <laughs> nah, it's not like it, it, we 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 got a, we got an understanding, you know. It's just I help her. If I ever get sick, she'll come help. You know, it's fair. fair. Being, no, being it's, a it's good probably a lot taking neighbor, care of you know? entire bar by yourself. Mm -hmm. And nothing I'm not used to, which is probably why she asked me. Right? <clears throat> yeah, I, I would rather ask you than Brady, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brady's fine. The thing is, like, this place isn't tough food. I mean, Brady's always a bad cook. So. Everyone has their strengths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Poor Brady. I, 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 I'm not dissing on Brady's drink abilities. But he's definitely the better cook. Let me tell you. You guys can oh, hear Varric yeah. mutter, mutter to Abigail. A half of doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I ever dropped that little lore tidbit in this setting, or for you guys rather, in, about the setting. Uh, first off, Halfling Barbecue is equivalent to a Korean barbecue, oh. which is always a funny bit. Uh, nice. Secondly, is that in my setting, Halflings have the best hospitality, true to some D&D lore, and also they eat a lot, just like in Lord of the Rings. Fair enough. And Eleven Z's and stuff like Ooh. that. So I like to imagine that they have like a really fast metabolism. Like, mm -hmm. like, not like a hummingbird, which you die of starvation within six hours, but they just have a decently fast metabolism for mm -hmm. their size. To quote yeah, Weasel so, on our Thursday game, Bulgogi that's is racist. seriously tasty. <laughs> it is, it is. I mean, halflings are just built different. Yeah, they're them. just built different. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. They spend all their energy into the luck. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so that is that is just a thing. The little, little tidbit is that uh, halflings just eat a lot, and, as, and they're usually good cooks. Stuff like that. Call it racism. Yeah. <laughs> Racial stereotypes. But it's true. Yeah, like just to quote Weasel, it's like, that's racist. <laughs> that's racist. So, yeah. Uh, you guys can hear behind all of you, Varric mutter, mutter, not mother, mutter mm. that to Abigail. So, can I get you yeah, anything? No food, obviously. But... Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Let me uh, get, grab me some meat if you can. Hey, she didn't. Um, uh, I don't. I don't want to intrude, but I, we came no. across a, my friend here, Race. He's quite the uh, skilled herbalist. Mm. And we came across um, s some natural remedies. Uh, maybe we could stop by and drop them off to her. Yeah, if if you don't think it's too much. No, 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 no. I think you should be fine for that. Uh. Gosh, where does he live? I mean, I've only taken the trip to that place like one time. Uh, oof. Oof. 
It's like r like racking his head like right in the neck. Tick 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 tick. <laughs> she don't live too far from here. She still live in the residential. No, it's not the. He looks at he looks at the cup he's holding. Must have been sample my own supply when I wasn't looking. No, not the residential. <laughs> here in the market district. She lives Gosh. next to us. <laughs> Gosh, no, she lives in the market district. Maybe I should start sampling. <laughs> Just Maybe kidding. not right no, now. Probably you have should. a lot of business. Probably should. Probably should. Uh, yeah, she lives here in Market District. I will say half a mile. Uh, so Eastbound, I think. Look over I can't American Abigail. tell you. Maps. <laughs> I, it's, I don't keep maps in the same there. Ah, fuck. Uh, eastbound down the 15th Street. You know, the one he just points out on. Right there. Uh, down 15th. He likes tapping the side of his head, like, side of his uh, temple. Uh, down 15th. Up. No, it was. No, it wasn't Creek Street. No, what was it? No, not Creek Street. Alright, what's another word for Creek? River? Not River. Creek? No, 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 no. no. What's Stream? Stream? Creek, and, Creek, Creek and Creek are two different Thank things. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stream Street. Thank you. Yeah, upstream street till you hit uh 20th 23rd street Some, somewhere 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 at that that intersection you know you know what i mean uh yeah i think she has a place around there yeah yeah 15th down to stream up to somewhere from 23 to 25 one of those one of those sorry i might I've only been there once, and I don't know if I remember that much. No, it's okay. I, I know she'll appreciate it. Can I, like, insight yeah, check yeah. to see if he's, hey. like... Fish, if he does he know what's, like, trying lying. to deceive us? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, wrong side. Sure. And seven. It's Eleven. That yeah, seems believable. Yeah. 23rd, 23rd. You're not sure. Yeah, you don't know Brody. You don't yeah. know his intellectual capability. Could just be Mr. Rembrandt. What's the What's the place mm -hmm. look like? Maybe that'll help us find it. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Um, double story building, bit on the Ooh. smaller side. Uh, not not on the corners or nothing. Uh, bit down. You know, like on still street, still on the street, like you know street access. Bit off the way. Bit smaller. Uh, it's sort of the shape of like, uh, and he does like, he goes like this, it's like sort of like this. Oh, okay. Um, not not like the roof or nothing. Like the building itself is like like that. So like top down, like looks like like that. Um, race on. I don't think it's got. I don't think it shares no courtyards with anything. So no. Um, I mean, it's made of brick. <laughs> he looks out the like he looks outside like through the windows and you guys know for a fact that <laughs> nearly every building in town is made of brick. That, that don't really help. Um Does it get it off Windows right? sort of like that. Hmm. Windows like here. Um We could always ask someone around. Yeah, yeah. I think she got a, I think the door is pretty well painted. I don't know correctly. It's like nice, uh, dark blue, nice cerulean. Does she have like maybe like another friend that could be around that we could ask? Not that you're I mean, not being I'm, helpful. I'm, no, no, no. It's just like like you said, you've only been there once. We don't know if someone else has been there a few more times. You know? I mean, you can always ask around. I don't. I don't. Me and Brady really keep to ourselves. Fair. Yeah, worst case scenario, asking me. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure plenty of people know Bethany. You know, lovely lady like herself. I probably had a couple of admirers. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> um, mm. what's, uh, young Miss Shay got 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 some lads crying in here tonight about her. <laughs> oh, so oh yeah, heard that. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, he looks over at one of them. <laughs> he looks over at you, Ron. He's staring, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, they're I'm just gonna be staring salty. at you because, because, you know, no, gentlemen don't kiss and tell. I don't want to ask. No, no need to pry. You're fun with that, though. You're right. 
I mean, I don't know why they're so mad. You just, they just, like, hang out sometimes. It's mostly Peter. Anyways. They just hang out sometimes, huh? Uh, 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 you, you hang around with them? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, actually. Like, the oh, I one see time, how, I, I see No, how, the one time they actually did hang out. I, I mean, it's oh, mostly, like, Shay and hey, Peter. Hanging out. Like, he gives, like, a conspiratorial wink. Hanging out, right? Eh? It's mostly hey, shame. Yep. No, ladies don't kiss and tell. Gentlemen don't kiss and tell. Huh? I ain't asking about well. There is kissing, yeah. Hmm? You know what? There's not a way out of this pit. Let's he's he's clearly <laughs> painted a narrative in his mind. <laughs> yeah. Have fun with that. This is a very deep pit that I have now gotten myself into. Yep. Nice. <laughs> That's Abigail. Oh, I didn't turn on the name. Interesting. Oh, that's right. She's not technically a different sheet than the previous one. Hold on. Really? Boop. Yeah, she's not a different sheet um, when I redid her class structure and stuff. I'm mildly surprised that her insight is so low. She doesn't have eye whiz. She's a charisma based caster. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That's why my perception's about the same, because I'm trained in it, but that's about it. Yeah, so she employs the cleric use charisma thing that I was talking to you about. Yeah. So that's why. Uh, that's not the right sheet. Force of personality to cast fireball and also healing. It's your boy. It's your boy, 13. Well, 17, actually, so, you know, not awful. <sighs> well, Brody, you are our right and proper fella. Hey, you too, Mr. Um... I've got your name, friend. You can call me Rays. Mr. Rays. Pleasure. You guys want some more meat, Anthony? Do you have? Oh, anything you guys gotta go. go I mean, legally, no. <laughs> legally. Mm -hmm. Then maybe they'll. I'll just stop by later then. Because I think we're. I think we're. You guys gotta bounce off to Bethany's on. right now. <laughs> Make sure she's okay. Mm. We just uh, need yeah, to yeah, yeah. Uh, get a hold of a friend first. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. Alright. Thank you for having me. Really, one more thing before we go. Hey? In the next three days. Ah. Make sure you stay away from celery. Celery? Celery? Mm 